What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Call me as I get my boy a clean, high temp fade. As you can see, I'm going in, setting in the ball guideline, cleaning up the area around the hair as I begin the haircut. As y'all can see here, I'm going in with the one guard, lever fully open, and I'm just knocking down all the hair on the side of his head leading up into his afro. Now I got the 0.5 on lever closed and I'm just working with the lever from closed to halfway open and I was just starting to fade. Now it's straight level work. No guard, lever fully closed and halfway open and then fully open. Now I'm going in with Andy's Masters and I'm doing some detail work, cleaning them up. Making sure I don't go too high to his fro. Now let's move on to the back of his head. In the back of his head, it really wasn't much hair. So I just went ahead and I, I, I cut it down with the one guard and I went in with the Andy's Masters and just detailed it all the way up. I didn't really need no 0.5 guard or much like that. I just used the Andy's Masters, made sure I didn't go too high up into his fro. Now as we're going into his edge, as y'all can see, I'm edging him up, edge coming out crispy. But with, with with this client, hairline in the front, it's real thin, you know, it's real thin. So um, it's important to, to stay low and not dig into his corners because if you're not experienced enough, you can definitely dig into his corners and stretch out the edge line going across his forehead. So now we're going behind the ear hitting the lines, making everything crispy and clean. It's my boy. Keeping everything sharp, everything clean. Now I'm applying the enhancements, putting them all the way in the game. For sure. And I always make sure that I don't go too hard with the enhancements. Because, you know, I don't like my clients. I don't like the enhancements being real noticeable on my clients. You know, so I try to go light and just try to have it, you know, blend in enough and make it look pretty clean, you know, and not too dark. As y'all can see, the haircut is coming out clean. Now, as we're getting into the beard work, um, this client, he doesn't really, he likes when his beard is, is, is full. So as you can see, man, I'm staying right on top of his beard and I'm not digging into his beard with the razor, trying to create, you know, that hard line. You know, I'm keeping it, keeping it right at the top, keeping his beard full and so it can continue to grow in. And as you can see, man, if you have to keep, if you have to keep hitting at it to, to create that crisp line, then it is what it is. But what you can't do is don't dig into his beard, stretch his skin and hit it with the razor. So as you can see, man, I'm going in with the pencil. Got that boy, clean. Touching up his beard some more before I hop right into blending that pencil in. Y'all know right here is attack mode. Y'all already know how I get here. Got the razor work, finishing the little touch-ups. If you haven't already, man, make sure you tap in to all my platforms. I'm on Instagram at I am underscore underscore Thule, and I am on also on Instagram and my haircut page Slice by Thule. Make sure y'all stay locked in. Make sure y'all subscribe to the channel and stay locked in with your boy. Appreciate y'all for tuning in. Peace, love.